Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome. Today's video is going to be a little different. It's not going to be a walkthrough. It's not going to be a let's play. It's actually going to be a video response. And uh, it's a response to a video called How YouTube Changed My Game in Ways by a girl named Erika Sabu or Sabu. Another YouTuber. She's like a JRPG fan. She makes hundreds of videos about Japanese role playing games from all consoles she doesn't discriminate like I do with the Xbox you know she, you put a good game on a console she'll play it and uh, uh, sh they're great so check her out but this one video she made I love so much I just had to make a video response to her because a comment wasn't enough a Twitter response wasn't enough and I know that her video is actually a response to two other people, The Laggy Gamer and Femme Trooper, but I loved her one the most. Uh, sorry to you guys, but yeah, I just I just loved her her insight to it all. And I thought I'd uh, give my little backstory on how YouTube changed my ways. Um, you might be surprised to know that before YouTube, before I started making these videos, I hated gaming. I despised the way gaming had had be, had turned into this money grubbing day one patch DLC for two extra characters bullshit I really didn't like it I also hated how the sequels to games I loved turned to crap you know the Resident Evil's dead Metal Gear Solid 4 and Peace Walker for me while great games aren't on par with 1, 2 and 3 and um Final Fantasy X 2 murdered the Final Fantasy series for me. I, I can't look at another Final Fantasy game thanks to that game. Um, there's so many more. You know, Grand Theft Auto 4 wasn't as good. GTA 5 is actually a really great game. But so many games just went to hell. New games, Assassin's Creed and whatnot, just not my cup of tea. You know, there's, there's a lot. Uh, it's, it's Dark Souls is fantastic. I love Dark Souls. I'd love more games like Dark Souls. Demon Souls is also good. I haven't beaten Demon Souls, but uh, I'll get to it someday, hopefully. But um, yeah, I didn't like gaming anymore. Really didn't want to touch it. Didn't want to be near it. My PlayStation 3 was gathering dust. I don't think I turned it on for three months at a time. Sometimes I was just talking to people on the the laptop or whatever instead. And uh, it wasn't until I started my gaming channel, and it, it was 2011, maybe December 2011, I did Tenchu 1. I recorded it on a PlayStation 1 emulator, and I recorded all the levels in 4 hours. <laughs> and there's a whole backstory to why I didn't finish it in 4 hours, but I recorded most of it in, in 4 hours, and I uploaded it thinking nothing of it I was hoping to get some comments but what I got instead was so much more for the few comments I got in that video on that walkthrough they really reignited my love they lit that candle in my heart that went out uh, that, that love of gaming they brought it back and they were leaving comments like wow I've never seen this game before but your video made me really want to play it or comments like, wow, I loved this game as a kid, but watching you play it has made me love it again. And I was like, oh, that's that's fantastic. That, I'm, I'm thankful that I got to, to bring this love and this game into your life. And I, and I, through that experience, I grew my love for gaming back. And I was like, you know, I really want to play this game next. You know, it was Heavy Rain. I, I want to play Heavy Rain. So while I loved Heavy Rain the first time playing it, uh, back in 2010 when it was released, I really loved it during my walkthrough. I was like, oh wow, can't wait to show these guys Madison. I can't wait to show show everyone you know, the, the apartment on fire later. And will I get out of there alive? And what will the reaction be if I don't? You know, Will I get the best ending? And all of that just was so much fun and now I can't play a game without two things running through my mind one will it make a good video will it make a good let's play will it make a good walkthrough and two 
if I do upload footage of this game, how much will they love it? Will they love it like I do? Will they enjoy it? Will will they be bored of it? You know, uh, Digimon World. I love Digimon World. Digimon World 1 on the PS1. And I, I just did Pokemon Yellow. You guys love Pokemon Yellow. So I was like, I need to do another game like that. I did Digimon World. And the response immediately was like, Ugh. This? Really? You know, I, I don't know what this game is. But another monster raising game. Uh, I, it's Digimon. So it's instantly inferior to Pokemon. And you were all like, you're all very, you're very kind about it, but I could tell that you had no interest in the game at all. And I was like, you know what, screw you guys anyway. I finish every walkthrough I start, so I don't care if it's 100 episodes, I will finish it. Uh, about 20 parts in, once the game really kicked off, I noticed. You guys in the comments went from, oh, this game's alright, I guess, to, I cannot wait till the next part. And I was shocked. I was like, really? You, you want to see more now? And it's like, yeah, I want to see what happens next. And once you guys started to love the walkthrough, it made me love the walkthrough. And I was like, you know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do something I never did before with Digimon. I'm going to 100% this game, at least in terms of prosperity with the city. And I'm going to get an ultimate Digimon, something i never done before. It, not only did I 100% the game, but I got like four or five different ultimates with ease. And that was something my 12-year-old self, my 11-year-old self, would have freaked out over. So, you guys, my subscribers, my commenters, you not only made my adult self happy, you, you made like that inner child that was always disappointed that I never got to get all out, all I wanted out of that game. You made, you made that kid really, really happy and proud of, of his future self. But um, uh, you, you also made me a better gamer. I am a lot more aggressive in gaming these days. I'm a lot more upfront. You know, uh, before I'd be fighting a boss and be like dodging the attacks, and I'd be like sneak attack, hit in, run away, hit in, run away, and uh, <laughs> uh, that was pretty much me. And I'd die a lot, and I'd get stuck in games a lot. But because of it was actually more so me not wanting to spend three hours editing, because of not wanting to spend all night editing, and I wanted to have the content be watchable. I needed to be aggressive. I needed to make sure I killed this boss in less than 20 tries. <laughs> I like difficult games. What can I say? Uh, I don't know why I bought a marker here, by the way. I have no clue where I'm going. But uh, I, I started getting better at gaming. I started getting more confident at gaming. I started getting more confident in general. Because commenting on videos all the time behind this anonymous... Uh, content, you know, all you see is the game and hear my voice. There's nothing here, by the way. What the hell? Uh, it made me more confident in myself. And I am someone who suffers really heavily from social anxiety. I can't go to a shop and, and bring like a chocolate bar up to the counter and buy it without feeling some sort of weight on my heart. You know, I, I feel very anxious about it. It's not... It's not an experience I enjoy at all. Uh, someone knocks on the front door. I'm like, okay, I have to open my own fucking front door. Time to take a deep breath uh, and get this done. Which is why you don't see me collaborating with other YouTubers. Which is, if you're making a channel yourself, the number one way to grow your channel. And it's also why I don't stream. I would love to stream with my brand new PC. I can, and my fast internet, I can stream right now. I have a Hitbox account, and that's the, that's the site I'd be using, unless that goes to hell. I'd love to be able to stream all day long, all night long with you guys. But I simply can't, because that live interaction with you would freak me out. I wouldn't be able to handle that. I, I'd have some sort of breakdown and not make a video for six months. <laughs> and uh, that's kind of something I'd like to get to in the future you know work up that courage work up that that social strength and and get myself out there a little bit because I'm not going to get anywhere with this channel Ooh. hold on 
I'm not going to get anywhere with this channel if I don't uh, end up getting a little more social about it. <laughs> and uh, so that's going to be it's kind of a 2015 goal of mine. That's I'm gonna, not going to say it's my New Year's resolution, but it's going to be a a achievement I'd like to succeed at and unlock in in real life next year. Hopefully, you know, maybe stream even if I stream once. Stream for 20 minutes in 2015, and I'll be happy. You know, break down that barrier. Become less less socially anxious about it. Uh, don't don't mistake social anxiety with shyness. I'm very confident. I'm very um, actually a little egotistical. And if you watch my content, you know I'm an extremely cocky son of a bitch. So I'm not shy. I just I'm just a huge introvert that doesn't like humanity or contact with it it freaks me out <laughs> but uh youtube has made me a lot more confident in that aspect because now i love talking to you guys i like the barrier of of a video game in the way and uh, it not being live i like that shield it's like my safety blanket but i i just love seeing your comments i love reading your thoughts you know there's so many times I've played a game and a new part to a game. I'm um, like, when I upload this video, this you know, this individual, I I can't wait to see their their reaction to it because I've created a lot of bonds with you guys and I love you so much and you mean so much to me. I've been around on YouTube since 2007. I've been through a lot. I've been here since I was 18 years old. I'm 25 now. You know, um, I've had friendships build with people I've had enemies grow back back before I started my gaming channel I used to have a lot of drama you know I'm gonna go off a shortcut and I, I had you know fights and arguments I had stalkers I had a stalker that followed me around the the entire internet she made duplicate accounts on like myspace and she was threatening me and I think she found my IP address and she was like I'm gonna kill you and I'm gonna cut you off and I was like what the fuck is wrong with you and I I, I had so many death threats from her <laughs> and I, I think she even found the town I was in which I don't care anymore it's Castle Bar County Mayo Ireland but uh, back then you know as a, as a teenager who was experiencing the internet for the first time I did not like that that was that was fucked up. I eventually got rid of her by saying I'm going to call the cops. And I, I knew she was in Dublin, which is four hours from here. So that wasn't pleasant. But uh, she eventually went away. And um, uh, things have been a lot greater since I've made this gaming channel. Which is another thing YouTube and gaming in general has changed for me. Uh, it's made me a lot more mature. And it's given me a lot more insight in the games. You know, when I'm playing a game now, for you guys, I want to know more about it. I go on the individual Wikipedias, and I look up, you know, all this information about this game. And the backstory, and the characters, and all those little, little trivias that, that won't be in the actual game itself, but are canon. Like, oh, this character's 26 and he's divorced. You know, that's not mentioned in the game, but... But it's right there and you know about it now and it makes that bond between the the character and the player even more so. And you know, I I, I had such a huge connection with with games when I was a kid. In in two thousand two, I cried like a bitch. I'm not even I'm not kidding. I bawled my eyes out loudly when I finished Final Fantasy X. Um the ending to that game I cracked up and it meant so much to me that I can tell you right now the date and time I finished that game it was the 28th of December 2002 at 1148 I believe uh, 1148 a.m. and I remember it because I kept my save file and I still have that exact save file because I'm not gonna lose that and that emotion, that 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 connection with gaming went away for so long, and then then you guys came along, and you brought it back. And during The Last of Us, I got choked up during certain moments, 
and I'm gonna die right now. Oh crap. No, I got it. I got it. I'm a boss. I'm a boss. And and during heavy rain, you know? And so many other games. And I, I want to continue that. Dino Crisis, which I'm doing right now. And uh, I, I just, I just want to say thank you to everybody so much for for bringing so much into my life, which you may not realize. And uh, yeah, I, I want, I want more to come in 2015. And I want to say something. Go back to fucking, go, go back to, to a uh, New Year's resolutions. Last year, I said this was going to be my New Year's resolution. I wasn't going to cut off a game. I wasn't going to end the recording without saving you know by forgetting to save because like that I kept doing that last year indie Bob you said I wouldn't be able to do it well I haven't screwed up this year yet so you can suck it <laughs> just want to name that have you lived up to your new year's resolution I don't think you did so you can suck on a big fat lemon <laughs> and uh, that's all I gotta say uh, again thank you uh, goals, New Year's resolution. I'm, I'm gonna say it. New Year's resolution 2015. I am gonna get over my social anxiety by just a little bit and stream at least once on either YouTube or Hitbox, not Twitch. Twitch can go die. Um, I don't like, from what I've heard, the mods there are assholes. I have no interest in. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's my little story. And. Hopefully there's many more memories to be created and I continue to expand and grow and Maybe someday I'll even be able to collab with one of you. I'd love to play a game with one of you But right now that's just a huge fucking that's just a huge uh, Door in my way that's that's locked that I, I can't open mentally right now, but uh, I'd like to get to a point where I can and uh, goodbye Thank you for watching.